Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the Bar channel where I get solutions to all your problems. So as we promised, we are going to show you how to compute area and then maybe measure the dimension of um, your imported KML file on Oculus from our last video. I hope you've watched the previous video that we made before this one. A um, link to that video will be on the description section where you can actually access that video. So on that video, we tried to import a KML file onto Google Earth and then we did a few things there. So today we are going to see how to do what then calculate area and then we use different units and you also know how to get your parameter, your perimeter rather, your perimeter and then the dimension. Maybe if you want to measure the length and the rest of that. Then we're also going to look at the search feature on the on the application. We're also going to look at how you can share a particular um, location, yes, to someone else. And then there is also something they call postcard on it. So we are going to look at these and uh, some other things in a very, very short while. So now let's start. The first thing is that we are still going to do it. We are still going to import that cable file onto the um, application. So we come to these um, three lines at the top left. Then we come to what projects and then we do what open. So we import KML file. It's already on a particular folder on the mobile. So we just um, come to yeah rough rough KML. So it takes us to where those points are, and then when taking us there, we do what good. We have the four corners here. Are we together? Good. So now what we want to do now today is we want to do what we want to calculate the area using different units and we also want to do what the perimeter and the rest of that. So the first thing is that I told us the other time at the top we have different icons. So we are going to use the second from the from the right, which looks like a ruler. So that's a measure, the quality measure. The tool there you can use it to measure. So you start by um, tapping on that. Then the next thing we are going to look at, you look on the screen, on your screen now, you see a circle with um, four sides, like um, the size of the cardinal point. So what you are going to do is that you are going to move on your screen, like you're going to move the screen to the point you want to start from. So we are going to start from corner one. Let's assume that we are starting from corner one. So we move that um, particular icon or maybe the particular symbol, that symbol on the screen to that point. So it's um, approximately there. Are we together? Good. So the next thing we want to do now is that as it is there what the next thing we are going to do we are now going to add the what we are going to add the, the point we are going to do what we are going to add the point so on your screen you see another tab there or let's say another um another command so you just say what add point so you add that point now when you look up you see one let's say three you see three stuff there, major, redo, and OK. So when you make a mistake, for instance, you did not add the point on the particular point you want to add. Maybe you added it at a different point you can and then you need to be how it together. So you now move towards your second point. So now you can see that as you're moving, the distance is actually being is actually being made. The distance is actually being made. So you can see that from the first point. Square meter and the perimeter which is 
as I said earlier, they are the same as here. So by the time you talk about that, So you know that from corner one to corner four is what is 22 meter so you can decide to undo undo again you start from another point maybe you want to start from corner what corner three to what corner four are we together so you come to corner three you add the point and you move to what you move to corner four just to know what the dimension of those the two points the distance between them so you add it are we together? You can also use the um, shake command there. It will just automatically display what to automatically display what the distance covered. Are we together? Which is 42 meter. So you tap on that stuff again to like refresh. Yeah, to refresh, to erase what you've done and then you start afresh again. Now the next thing we want to look at is the shape. Now these um, four points here, for instance, maybe you've actually um, imported your KML file to Google it and you want to share it with someone. Uh, of these um, five icons at the top, the first from the right, these um, three vertical dots, you just tap on it and you see what share link and what create postcard. The both of them are actually the same, but the difference between them is that on one, the share link, you only share the link, but on the second one, the link is having a picture. You know, that's what you put cast is like um, a bar a letter, or let's say, yeah, on a cardboard or whatever, that maybe you can also attach what a picture to it, but you don't have to put it in an envelope. So, immediately, someone sees it, immediately, the receiver sees it, the person sees the information what displayed. So, I think that's the little explanation I can give on about a postcard. So, what these two features, these two features does they do is that, yeah, what they do is that the first one is just share the link. And then the link will direct the person to um, wherever those wherever the location is, uh, wherever those points are. And then the postcard will add a picture to the description. Are we together? The postcard will add what a picture to the description. So now let's see how it goes. The first thing is that we want we use the share link. So we tap on it. By the time we tap on it, it will ask us where are we going to work, where are we going to share it. So we say color note. So we tap on color it and then it creates the link. So this is the link that has already been what it has been created. So the next thing we are going to do, if we decide to close it and then open the link by what by just tapping on it, it will do it will do what it will basically take us to what the location where we um, we covered or the location where we are trying to share or something like that. Are we together? So that's one feature. Then the second feature is what creates the postcard. So you still do what you still tap it and you find out that there will be a screenshot. The location has actually been screenshot and then you want to share it. So you can decide to share it with anybody on any social media or any other platform. So we are not going to show that on this particular video, but the only difference between the both of them is that this one that has postcard will attach the image that was just screenshot with that link you saw the first time. Are we together? Good. And let's look at um, the share feature, where you, the search rather, the search feature, you see that's the second from the left. Yeah, the uh, search icon is um, something um, everybody knows. So you search any location you are going to, let's say, um, 
I don't know what to search for because there are so many things coming to my mind. But you can actually use it and then search for anywhere you want to search for, and then you get to that particular location. So um, for this particular video, I think we've come to the end of um, what we want to share with you on this video. Thanks for coming to class, and then we hope you have a nice time. And then make sure that you keep being a good um, dramatic engineer and a good surveyor. And we'll see you again on the next video. Until then, have a nice time. Bye.